we know about altered passive eruption we know that these conditions have been mentioned in the textbooks but in practice if you are 100% sure that you do not want to increase the vertical relationship but you need better supports for your crowns and you see where facets on the crowns and very small clinical crown heights the other option is to try to get some help from the remaining part of the natural tooth and crown lengthening seems to be the only option to have this but next time you see cases try to see whether the muscles are in spasm and try to relieve them by giving the patient a night guard and watch him and maybe you know you will see that there is always a little vertical available for you to play around with let's look at a case patient comes with terribly atrated teeth with complaints of cheek bite and tongue bite constantly inability to chew feeling that he should not chew muscle minor muscle pain and constantly breaking couple of fillings has to keep visiting the dentist and the dentist keeps grinding his teeth the sharp teeth keep on giving some ulcers on the tongue when you look at the facial height of the patient you can easily make out that it is collapsed however his masseters are very strong and we look at the freeway space and the freeway space is there but i'm sure it can be increased because the muscles need to relax so again we are trying to bring the mandible in the physiological rest position as well as the neck muscles into a physiological rest position and this is a big task so the best way of taking the patient there would be to put him on a night guard for a bit give him some transelectric nerve stimulation and then proceed <laughs>